on our journey towards Lent and beyond Lent, towards Easter, we come to a series of parables which must prepare us to our journey through Lent. And today's parable speaks to us of the Pharisee and of the publican. The publican came into the church knowing that he has no right to be there. In what sense? The church is a small space on earth which is totally dedicated to God, which belongs to God alone, in which God has a right to live, into which we come to meet him and no one else. Oh, of course, everyone else, but only together with him. And the Pharisee stood by the door knowing that he is a stranger and that is his only hope lay in the fact that God loves. He had said in the Old Testament, child, give me thy heart. All the rest belongs to me. So we can come and give our heart to God. And only then can we walk into the sacred ground. The Pharisee lived according to rules. He thought, he felt, that if he did everything that was expected of him according to the law, he had a right to God. He had a right to be in God's realm. He was one of his people. And therefore, looking around, he could condemn others who in his eyes were not worthy or the same. Let us reflect on ourselves. When we come to church, are we aware that it is a realm into which we can come only if our heart has been given to God and if our heart has become his dwelling place? And also, if we have tried, however hard, however honestly, to live according to the gospel, can we say, I'm worthy? Can I say, I have a right to be here? No, it is only love that can give us a right. It is only our love, mutual, and our love to God that can allow us to enter into this sacred realm. And when we come, let us stop one moment by the door and think, this realm is sacred. It is holy. It is God's dwelling place. Let me enter into it with all my heart. Turn to God and say, Lord, I'm unworthy, and yet I'm loved. I'm impure, and yet I can love thee, O oh Lord, and the people around me imperfectly. But this is the only ground on which I can stand here. Amen. Благословение Господне на вас, того благодатью и человеколюбием всегда, ныне и присно, и во веки веков.
святых славных и всех ванных апостол, нежего святых отца нашего Иоанна, архиепископа Константинопольского Златоустова, преподобных и богоносных отец нашей Сергия, игумена Радонежского и всея России чудотворца, и Серафима Саровского чудотворца, священномученика власти Севастийского, святителя Стефана Сурожского, Павла Цареградского, Григория Некисарийского, Никиты Новгородского, и же мощи почивают в нашем храме. Святых и праведный Богу Отец Иоахима и Анны, всех земли сей и в земле России просиявших, святителя Тихона, патриарха Московского и всей Руси, и всех святых, помилует и спасет нас, яко благ и человеколюбец». Make up.